A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to Nerf Secrets Revealed After Sots Part 2. And also, welcome back to a point where I can potentially discuss the many things about reskin trilogies. Because since 2020, we've had ourselves a bit of a tradition that Hasbro has decided to do where they re-release certain older blasters and have them colorized in three different ways. We started off with a hammer shot trio, which of course led to the splatter, which I've already covered. And then in 2021, we got this. One of three Disruptor reskins. There's one that's colored in the light green, and then there's one that's colored in a dark blue sort of color. And then you have this one with red, dark gray, and transparent colored plastic. This is what I refer to as the Transcender. Because, especially if you remember from last year where I talked a bit about this blaster and also showcased its ability to fire darts down a range in Distance Gauge Part 2, then you'd probably know by now that this one actually does a little bit better than that of the Disruptor itself. Being a reskin, it doesn't necessarily come off as a bit of a surprise. Because it's probably possible that they might have done some modifications to the internals themselves. But how does this stack up here? Well, first of all, pretty much like how you'd expect. And so, yep. Darts are flying exponentially right here, which is pretty fun. So, this blaster in particular, the Transcender, comes with colored darts that are in red and dark gray to match up with its exterior color scheme. And we certainly cannot forget that it uses a tactical rail on top, multiple sling adapter points, including this one, which is rather wonky, some rather comfortable ergonomics that are definitely appropriate for stature like my own, and then, of course, its ability to slam fire. So, that's just pretty much what you need to know about the basic gist of this blaster. As for the other two in that particular trio, though, the Disruptor certainly did have three that came out in 2021. And then, of course, we certainly can't forget about how many other reskin trios came by in 2022, 2023, and even here we're going to be getting some reskins. It really makes you wonder, is Nerf ever going to continue doing this even more? Are we going to be seeing blasters that we've never had in our lives reskin for the first time? but also re-released in a way that we can all get it for the first time? Well, while I reload this blaster with invisible bullets, I'd say it's probably interesting to know that, well, I do feel like that this one actually might do well with invisible bullets themselves, but, well, Let's just see how this goes. Well, I guess with that in mind, that just simply concludes the epic portion of After Sod Part 2 that involves the Transcender in action. Not much else I could probably cover on because this is a reskin of a blaster that I've already covered on many times over. Although I could mention it's twirling factor, but it's probably not a lot in contrast to what we've gotten from the Disruptor itself. In any case though, that's just probably what you need to know here. If you want to see more, go down to my channel though. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.